Hey what's up guys welcome to find gap youtube channel and in today's video we will learn how to open and close database in sqlite in android let's start and before start please i request you to subscribe to our youtube channel to stay up to date with amazing programming videos and if you have not watched the videos of this series you can watch the previous videos so you can understand that how you can create database and tables inside sqlite database in the previous video of this series we learn how we can create tables but when you create a table then you will need to insert data in those table and retrieve data from that table update and delete that data but before doing these operations we need to open our database and after doing these operations we will need to close our database let me show you how you can do this in our case inside this onkit function the reference of this our database is available but you will find a lot of functions where the reference of this database will not be available so let me show you how you can get the reference of the database you just have to type sqlite database sp space database is equal to this dot get get readable database and get writable database here we have found two functions as you know here you can see the two functions get readable database and get writable database when you will need to retrieve data from the database you will use get readable database and when you need to insert database modify database or delete database for these three operations you will use get writable database so suppose you want to insert something inside your table you will use the get writable database function and press semicolon and then here you will write the query to insert data suppose you want to insert or modify whichever operation you want to operate so we will write our query here and after this we will type to close the database we will write the reference of our database database dot close so by writing this line of code we will we can close our database so guys i hope you will must understand that how you can open and close database in android studio if you have any question related to this tutorial you can ask us in the comment section we will try to answer your question and please subscribe to our youtube channel to stay up to date with amazing programming videos and share this video with your those friends who want to learn android apps development and finally thanks for watching